Are we Canada? Are we Canada? Uh, are I, we Canada? Sadly, you've taped down the flag. You so can't steal. We only have one. I, I know, and I really want to patriotically wave the little Canadian flag, but I'm not confident. Well, you know what? You I'm do. just, oh, okay. We're I just want to clear it. that. We're just doing see, it. Canadians aren't really rule breakers. We are. No, no, you know what? I, 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 feel like it's, I feel like it's Canada telling us don't mess with the rule. Anyway, hi, Canada. Love you. We love you. Thank Congratulations you. on the nomination. Stranger Things is probably one of the most buzzed about shows. As soon as it comes out, everyone stops what they're doing, binges it. How has it changed the landscape for television? Well, you know, I was just telling someone, when we first went out to try and sell Stranger Things, everyone was like, you can't make a show with kids that isn't for kids. That was like the rule. Wow. And so I feel like it's one of... It's one of many examples I could give of like, okay, there's the rules about what you can and can't do, what will and won't work, but nobody knows. Yeah. And all it takes is one thing that hits a cultural vein to rewrite the rules. And so for us, I think it's a combination of 80s nostalgia, yeah. genre scary, but really it's the heart. I really think that it's really kind of, there's a humanity to these outcast characters, yeah. right? And look at the way the world's embraced Eddie, for instance, right? Eddie, yet another Stranger Things outcast who finds connection and becomes a hero. And I feel like that's how all of us would like to feel. And running up that hill, who knew? Who knew? Not me. And I directed that episode. Like, I directed Dear Billy, and wow. I'm blasting the Kate Bush song on set, and I'm like, Sadie, run through the mountain of blood. We still had no idea. Um, and, now and now, I think it was the most streamed song on Spotify of the entire summer. And that Kate Bush, 40 years after releasing that hit song, she has a bigger hit song. Uh, it might be the coolest detail of what we've achieved. I, I completely agree. As a music fan, it was such a cool nostalgia moment, but also breathing life into a legendary song, a song a that... Deserving, a, deserving, a deserving song, a deserving songwriter. Agreed. And um, what we tried to do on Stranger Things, obviously we have a lot of nostalgic needle drops or songs, but we try to not make them the expected ones. Yes. We try to make them a little left of center, a little bit more alternative um, and unpredictable. And, and running up that hill, though, is it's a dream to take someone else's creative work, collaborate with it, and return it to the centerpiece of culture the way has happened for Kate Bush. It was beautiful. Now, I got to ask you about Wrexham. Uh, Ryan, are you, are you, do you have the in for tickets? Are you going to be going? No, are you a season ticket holder? I, I, first of all, Ryan's obsession with Wrexham is a problem. His obsession <laughs> with Canada was already a problem, but it was a problem we could support. Right. It was like a dirty little habit, but also like a lovable habit. Yeah. His obsession with Wrexham, also, by the way, the obsession of all of Wales with Ryan Reynolds is becoming problematic. Like, I'm trying to get us ready to shoot Deadpool, yeah. and he's so distracted by this football team. Um, so no, I can't get you tickets. Okay. Uh, and okay. B, I need to downgrade his obsession a bit because he can't get talking. any work done. Yeah, stop talking yeah. about it. I didn't even mention it. Yeah, you're just feeding it. Yeah, you're just, just feeding just the problem. feeding the problem. Have fun tonight. Thank Enjoy. You. Like the video? Then hit the button, or better yet, drop us a comment. Then check out our latest videos here. And don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button here for more celebrity interviews and entertainment news.